Josh Reynolds is a terrible spectator, but while he's been out injured, he's been putting his profile and vibrant personality to good use. West Tigers fans, if you didn't know it already, you're getting a great player next year, but an even better person. Yes, yeah, so I've come to support Passer on Clothing, which is a great initiative. They come here every uh, Tuesday night at 7 o'clock to Martin Place to you know, try and help out uh, some homeless people who are struggling. Obviously, a lot of the, the things that we sort of are tied to are always, you know, people who are in hospital or people who are a bit sick. And I suppose the sad thing is, you know, the homeless people are, are, are sadly a bit forgotten, aren't they, you know? And to take time out of their day to do something like that is, is pretty special. To see the sort of setup, you know, where they can you know, get, get a new outfit, wash some old clothes and get a shower at the same time, it's pretty special, yeah. Collected four and a half thousand. Yes. And tonight we've and given away our two thousandth piece of clothing. Um, so this year we hope to give away between five and six thousand. From where we started from the humble beginnings, it's um, quite an achievement. Amazing. With it. Yeah, it's amazing. Hey bud, how are you? Josh, mate. Oh, yes. Josh, nice to meet you. Mate. I'm well, how are you? Good. I heard you're going to Red Stadium. I'm gone, mate, yeah. At the I end mean, of the year. Have a good season. Oh, thanks, mate. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. Some of them want to get back on track and you know that they probably watch footy and love footy as much as a guy with a massive mansion does. And that's the best thing probably about rugby league that you know whether you know you're, you're sleeping out here or, or sleeping in the biggest biggest house in the world, you can you know still love the game that we play. But what kind of impact does that have on you? Yeah, it, it's it's special, you know, and sort of getting towards oh, I hate saying this, but you know the back end of my, my career. I hope I've still got a bit to go, but. You, you, do, you really do realise uh, the impact that you, know, you can you can have on some people, and even if I don't have the impact on anyone here tonight, for me to come here and see how you know how lucky I am, really, you know, it's being plain and simple. We kick a ball around and we get paid to do it. We're no better than you know, someone's here who's struggling and you know struggling to put a, you know, a shirt on their back. So it's something that you know you don't really see too much of, but it's a really good initiative, I think. Yeah, what a fantastic initiative and an interesting story. Like. Yes, I came across Pass It On Clothing in the off-season. I was doing a big clean-out of the old wardrobe and, as you do, you collect all these clothes and you don't know what to do with them. And I did a bit of a Google search and came across Pass It On. Chris, who was in the story there, he actually turned up to my door to pick up the clothes and he was wearing an NRL cap and I was like, oh, hey... What do you do for a living? And it turns out that he works at the NRL on the sideline as a part of the head injury assessment team. Now, he does this with his partner, Olga, on, in their spare time. They go around, collect people's clothes, and then they go to Martin Place every Tuesday night and help clothe the homeless. And it was just such a privilege to be there. Obviously, with his connection to the NRL, he can get players down there. Um, and, you know, we all know how much work NRL players do. Um, and it's just a wonderful cause, really. And people, so easy if you cleaning out your wardrobe, you want to get rid of stuff, you go to Pass It On, uh, they've got a Facebook page and they'll come and get it from you. Um, and it's, it's a great cause. Amazing. What yeah. an amazing story. And it is great to see guys like Josh Reynolds down there yeah. uh, devoting their time. It really has an impact on them. I've been at the Bulldogs uh, over the course of the last couple of weeks. Um, we're going to do another story on Sean White, who is a really, really important part of uh, the Bulldogs club and the fabric of, of that team yeah. um, for the last three decades and Josh has, you know, played a huge part in uh, having a wonderful relationship with Sean and really embracing him and, and making sure he's important mm -hmm. and, and involved in uh, what the team do. So we'll have that story for you in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. But it, it's really inspiring, I think, to all of, to see our players thinking about others yeah, before a bit, themselves. It's a bit tough for Bulldogs fans, though, because we know how upset they are to lose someone like Josh, but great but for, the Tigers, said, yeah, for yeah, the Tigers to be picking you know, up a guy like that. Absolutely. And yeah. Josh doesn't do it for the recognition. No. You know, a lot of no. these players who do charity work, mm. they don't do it to get their faces in the paper or get their faces on telly. They just do it because they know that it's good to give back and to, to make it's sure a, that they It's a good community. reminder for yeah. all of us, doesn't matter mm. who we are in the community, that mm. um, it's, it's really rewarding to think about others yeah. instead of ourselves. Yeah. It's great. All right, it's time for a quick break here on League Life. And don't forget, following us every Wednesday is Queenslanders only.